All right, all right. What's up? What's up, guys? What's up? This is Hot Eyed Seven RCT bringing you another video, and this time around we're going back to the Shoot 'Em Ups Crossfire 2018. And as you can see from the background here, I'm gonna be covering Tengai. Now, last time around I covered. Uh, before I did Damaku, I was doing Samurai Aces. Now, Samurai Aces from the lovely Psycho shooters that uh, the company Psycho is bringing for us on the Switch. And just like I mentioned before, uh, in the beginning when they released their first title on the Switch, I said, you keep bringing them, I'll keep grabbing them. And I am being true to that because so far every game that they've released on the Switch, I have been picking up. Because they're just that good, you know, for the shoot 'em up fan. And they are arcade classics and great. So if you're a shoot 'em up fan, be sure to check this one out. Same pricing, $7.99, which is a steal, you know, all things considered. And this coming from an emulator fan myself, it's worth picking up. That being said, there's another little thing that uh, is going on with um, the whole. Uh, Tengai and how it connects to Samurai Aces because this is a I would say a uh, in between spiritual successor and actual successor or sequel to Samurai Aces now the cool thing about this dynamic is that Saikyo made uh, a sequel of a game but in, at the same time, they drastically changed everything about said game. So instead of being a sequel, it's kind of like a reinvention. And this is what I mean by that. Samurai Aces is a vertical, what we know as a vertical scrolling shoot 'em up. Now, you can tell because the gameplay mechanics reflect this. Um, you have the, the space uh, spaceships that you use. Um, they all have their own... Uh, kind of creation they have their own art style based on the character that you're choosing um, the whole motif is the same it is uh, Japanese mythology Japanese history uh, intermix you have a bunch of heroes who are uh, fighting the forces of evil and demons and stuff like that now the main difference however is that aside from changing drastically to this gameplay style which is more akin to a, a horizontal R type type of deal, I would go as far as saying is uh, kind of like multi scrolling because it goes on different directions. But the basic layout is horizontal; it's not vertical with a limited space or you need to play in tape mode, etc. So you get to use, at least in my case, I get to use here in this video more screen space or more real estate thanks to that. Not only that. But their characters went through some changes. Now, the more obvious one, of course, I keep making fun of this one right here because it's just so funny. I mean, let's take the, the main character or the title character, which is Tengai. It's this old dude, monk warrior, kind of deal, ball headed, very angry. Now, you see Samurai Aces, and basically, the difference from that game to this one. It's not really that much. Now, Miko, on the other hand, ooh la la, oh my god. Um, let me bring it up here for a second, just to prove a point. I mean, go back to Samurai Ace's coverage, and you will notice, of course, that Miko has made a change, has made a drastic change, and, and nowadays in this game in Tengai, she is much more healthier. The reasons why they did this, I'm, I'm going to chalk it up to basically, you know, sexy cells and all that stuff. Back then when this game came out, it's more appealing because the character Miko in Samurai Aces was more of a tomboyish, um, very uh, skinny structure uh, kind of girl, uh, Temple Guardian. Now, she carries uh, her same job title, but her physique is completely different. So, either they were eating some really good food back in the day or you know something's up but the the change and the age difference is not really that much so we cannot you know date on that but anyways cool little fun fact aside let's get away from that and into what brought you here to this video and is to watch gameplay and to see if this game is worth 
plunking down the money for and I'm gonna say go ahead and do it but um, let's go into the gameplay here now the next one I'm gonna be doing for you guys is Soul Divide another Psycho shooter this one is very different um, which is one of the reasons why I love it so much and I, I had to pick it up as well I played it a ton or used to play it a ton and uh, my hyper has been set up more on that later Let's go right ahead. I already previously set up the display, how I like it, and stuff like that. Basic stuff that you're going to be having here. Psycho, yeah. Let's go through the cinematics here real quick. The opening scene. Uh, I don't know if it was back then. Ooh, Miko, 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 beautiful Miko. I don't know if it was some kind of backlash, but ironically enough, they changed her name to Miyuki or Miyu Miyuko or something like that. Don't know if they were trying to hide the fact that it was the same character or not. I'm just pointing it out. That's Miko. And let's... Basically, the settings that you get on this uh, title is it's the same as the other Psycho shooters. You have normal or wide. In this case, it makes sense. You don't need a, a tape mode for this one because it's not vertical. I'm going to keep it in normal because it conserves the aspect ratio of it. Now, in terms of screen filter, you have the more sharper looking uh, type 1 that's a little pixely, but it's more sharper in the colors and stuff. Type 2 does a little bit of, I guess, anti-aliasing or texture filtering. And 3 is the more classic monitor looking scan line, which is the one I'm going to be using. Gonna play it in normal. If you can see here different characters. Let's start with Miko. And then I'll just get out. Now it has that little glitch, which I'm assuming the arcade does the same thing. Where Miko is not visible actually until you start shooting. Damn, these one-shots. And of course, bear in mind that there's a little bit of input lag. Because I'm using this controller right here, which is awesome for every single title. But for shoot 'em ups being wireless, not so much. That being said, I'm hoping... To acquire yes glow and rice i know i know you we've had it for a while now and i'm not taking my time because i want to is because right now it's been a little difficult for me to get the funds for that particular controller but the hoary arcade stick is what i would prefer to be using for these now bear in mind i have taken a lot of time into getting it but when I do, I will cover it fully with an unboxing and modding into um, with the sandwich buttons and joysticks. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let's go. Let's get out from here because the options is continue. Although I could have gone to my title. And of course, let's go to full screen because you get to see more of the screen. Now, let's try... The other female character was his juniors. Let's try show. See if the dude is cool. I don't know if that is because that glitch is because 
of the scanline filter. But you don't see the character. Ooh, ooh, wait, wait, wait. Stop talking here for a little bit. Let me see if I can focus. Now each character has their own uh, sort of like an elemental. And of course you have, in this case, uh, the bomb mechanic is uh, turned into a magic system and each one of them does a different type of attack when you do the bomb. See this one f covers the full screen. You have the normal shots. Oh my god. You have the normal shots and you also have charged up version which you do by holding the button down, and then releasing. Trust me, mother, I will get revenge. That's the charge-up shot for this character in particular. No, I didn't want to continue. Okay, back to title. This is what I wanted to do before. Let's go back again with another character. Katana looks kind of cool here. This will be like an android of sorts. This one doesn't seem to have an elemental. Oh yes, it does. Let's try what kind of bomb mechanic this one has. Ooh, lightning. Nice. Ooh, ooh. Oh, they got me in the end. Come on, let me grab the power up without dying. Uh, everything from the theme to the music to, as you can see, the, ch the challenging nature of the, of the title is pretty awesome. This is, after all, a Psycho shoot em up, so let's give it a charge up shot. Oh, I got a different one now. Nice. Let's let the time run out. No, I didn't want to continue. Alright, let's go back. And choose one more character before I bring this video to a close. Now let's pick our main character here. Mr. Ball-Headed Dude, Tengai. Ironically enough, he did not change almost at all from Samurai Aces. But that's a good thing because he's a cool character. Let me start focusing a little bit more here, what I'm doing. Um, power up, power up, Do a charge shot, charge shot is a flaming bird, I don't know if it has different degrees, no it seems to be the same, now 
that's the bomb mechanic right there, which is a very heavy and wide horizontal shot. And there you have it guys, this is basically, in a nutshell, our game 10 guy. Now, uh, let's go back here, so I'm going to talk with you guys for a second. Uh, let me see if I, yeah, went back. So yeah guys. That's going to be all for today's video on uh, Shoot 'em Ups Crossfire 2018 Tengai from uh, one of my favorite companies, Psycho. Uh, I'm going to keep covering them as they keep coming out. Uh, next up, of course, from Psycho is Soul Divide. Soul Divide came before, I think a couple of weeks before Tengai did. But I wanted to do this one first. It'll probably be uploaded before Soul Divide because I wanted kind of like a sequence from Samurai Aces to this one. So that's going to be it for today, guys. If you like the video, um, please like and sub. And above everything else, share the video with other people. I'm a small YouTuber, and it seems like I'm going to be this way. But if you can share it with other people, like-minded individuals like myself, who enjoys the Switch, enjoys PC gaming, uh, modding hardware, hardware, uh, running emulation, gaming in general, but focus mostly on that and Switch, then by all means, you know, I would really appreciate it. So you guys take care. See you next time. Bye.